Hurry! Chris, where are you? Ready or not, here I come! Oh, Chris, where have you been? Never mind that. What are you doing? Oh, I am practicing skiing. Because when we return, we may need to hit the Black Diamond Slope in order to save Ellie from what is sure to be a disastrous ski run she is nowhere near ready to handle. Coming through! <laughs> Did you miss this? You need to stay on the beginner slope a little longer, Giz. Chris? Huh? Nicodemus? You just disappeared from my house the other day. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, about that. Hey, uh, my elbow's great now. And look, I found my friends. Joy, Gizmo, this is Nicodemus. He... I was told Jesus is here. Yes, uh, uh he's upstairs. I'll explain later. Rabbi, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. I tell you the truth. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind but can't tell where it comes from or where it is going, so you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible? You are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things? I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen, and yet you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Ezekiel, then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So, so it is, is with, with everyone, everyone born of the Spirit. What did Jesus mean, Chris? I'm not sure, Gizmo. The wind can't be seen, but you can see what the wind changes, like the movement of those leaves. Maybe Jesus was telling Nicodemus it's the same with everyone born of the Spirit. They will be changed. Oh, we are going home! 